Okay, so we're going to look at how we delete children, parents and staff, or at least remove them from your account. So this is a really easy one and it's going to be a, a pretty quick video. Um, we're on our children tab here and you'll know that this is a list of your rooms that you have and a way to organize a child profile. So if I click into our three to fives, you'll see all our three to five children. But there's another way to view these. Uh, if we click on this list button over here, we can see the children as a list. So here's all our three to five children. And we can use these drop down menus to make any changes that we want. So if we think that actually Charlie's in the wrong room, they should be in the toddlers, we can change Charlie into the toddlers here, for example. Or if we want to change Charlie's key person from A. William, we can change uh, the key person to N. Edwards, and it's as easy as that. If a child leaves us and we want to remove their profile or deactivate it from our account, we can just use this column at the end. Uh, under the active heading and we can uncheck the box so let's say that David has left us we can uncheck his box here and that means he is no longer active when a child's inactive it means their parents won't be able to access their profile if they log in so make sure that when you deactivate a child that the parent has exported everything that they want um, when you've deactivated them they haven't been deleted they've been sent to what we call your archive and you can access the archive up here from this button and this is a list of all our archive children. So here we can see David is now in our archive and we can safely um, reactivate him by checking this box here to make him active again if he returned or if we deactivated him by accident. From the archive, we can delete a child's profile. So if I were to click on this delete button, we'll see this message that appears at the top that tells us are we, or asks us, are we sure this will delete the child permanently and all the data and it cannot be undone. So once a child has been deleted from your archive, then they cannot be uh, returned. So please bear that in mind before you go deleting profiles. So let's look at how we do the same thing with parents and staff. So it works exactly the same way. If we go to our staff tab, we can see a list of all our staff here. So let's imagine that our staff member Sandy is leaving us here. She's moved on to another position. Uh, if we edit the profile, we'll see all the roles that are available. If you have a primary school attached, you will see primary school roles that are available. Um, and the same way we did with the children, if we want to deactivate Sandy, all we do is we uncheck the box that says active, click on submit and this will send Sandy to our archive so we can click on our archive for staff, see all the archived staff that we have here and we can delete from this page here. And the same way, if we delete from this page, it means all the user data is gone permanently and we can't undo that. Finally, let's look at parents. Here's a list of all our parents here. If we wanted to deactivate a parent, well, we just click on the edit button and we uncheck the active box again. This will send the parent to the archive and we can access the archive parents from up here just the same way as we did before. And here are our archive parents. And again, if we delete from here, the parent is gone for good. We cannot recover it. So please bear that in mind. So that's how we delete or deactivate children, parents or staff. Hopefully you can see how easy that is and you'll be able to manage that in your own accounts.